What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's your girl, Chris, aka Terrible Hime, and I thought I would try out a little bit of vlogging because that's something I want to do when I'm at the Arnold and when I'm in Japan. So I figured maybe I should get some practice. So today I'm going to take you on a day of errands. It's not even a full day, like half a day of errands and plant shopping. I'm doing all my grocery shopping. It's Friday, my grocery shopping day. So I'm hitting up uh, a few stores and I'm also going to stop at a couple big box like uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, hardware stores to look at their plants. And I'm also going to stop at one of my favorite local plant nurseries. So not sure how this video is going to turn out, but we'll see how it goes. And I hope you enjoy. What's up? This is a voiceover Hime. Our first stop of the day is Lowe's. And I'm just taking a quick look at the plants they have in stock. I will say that I feel like my area is notoriously bad for having nice looking plants at the big box stores. And that's probably because we have some really nice uh, local family owned I assume nurseries in the area but this Lowe's had a little selection of succulents and it had some bigger floor plants that looked pretty decent a lot of dracaena some banana guys a lot of hanging stuff I like these little small plants that most of these places have I think they're a nice way to start and I personally like smaller plants because they take up less room and they're a little bit less expensive. Uh, that neon pothos right there is looking really good. I'm not personally a fan of Fitonia. I've had them before and they're just a little too finicky for me. Those little tiny Diffenbachias look nice but they also get really really big as they grow. One thing that I saw here that I thought was super interesting was a rip salis. I've never seen that in, I don't think I've ever seen one in person before. And this Lowe's had two of them. So out of all the plants I saw, I would really like this skindapsis. And if I wasn't struggling with skindapsis right now, I probably would have picked it up. And this is that rip salis I was talking about. It looks really nice. They had two of these, a nice full basket. And then our next stop of the day is Wegmans. And I don't normally shop at Wegmans um, because it's a little bit more expensive to shop there, but I do think they have some really good quality food items. And it's the only place that I have found that has a certain brand of cottage cheese that I really like that I'll show in a minute here. but. I'm picking up some greens for my hot girl soup, some veg, carrots, and celery, along with mushrooms. These are all things I like to put in my big bowls of soup that don't add a lot of calories but are really hearty. This is what I'm going to be using for sandwiches this week. And they had a nice little selection of houseplants as well. These air plants. Uh, are a really good price, $15 for the really huge ones. I was tempted, I'm not gonna lie. Just like Lowe's, they had a pretty decent variety of those smaller potted plants, as well as stuff for Valentine's Day. I was really tempted by this Calathea, uh, but I already have quite a few. Well, I don't have quite a few. I've killed quite a few, so I'm not really looking to add any more to my collection right now until I figure them out. My Wegmans, my local Wegmans, has a really good selection of protein supplements and I grabbed these Quest bars because it's kind of hard to find things that aren't chocolate flavored. This is the cottage cheese I was talking about. The macros are really good and the taste is really good if you like creamy dairy products. Picked up some snacks for the cat boys. 
and I grabbed a protein shake for on the go. Always put your cart back. Bye Wegmans. Next up is Lidl, I think is how it's pronounced. My Lidl always has a pretty good selection of houseplants as well. I was tempted by this Syngonium, but I'm not like the biggest fan of that color. They have a good selection of little small plants, and sometimes they have some really interesting finds. Today they had Philodendron White Knight and White Wizard. I'm not exactly sure what the difference between those is, but I was surprised to see them there. Orchids for Valentine's Day and all year round are always a must. If you shop at Lidl, you must try their egg custards. I need flavor in my life when I'm in a calorie deficit, so lots of garlic. These blueberries are going to be really good on that cottage cheese. I love tomatoes and I got these for sandwiches. You'll see I get more tomatoes later. I like chicken tenderloins because they're easy to cook and they are high protein and low calorie. And chicken thighs are much tastier than chicken breasts or chicken tenderloins, but they do have a little bit more fat. I got some really lean ground turkey to go in my soup. And I prefer the fair life milk because of the higher protein content. I'm not lactose intolerant though. That's all I got at Lidl. See you later, Lidl. Thanks for everything. Shout out to Cody for this Percy Pig bag. Protein shake break. The core power protein shakes by Fairlife always taste really amazing. Next stop, Home Depot because I was in the area. And they had pretty much the same thing that Lowe's did. A nice selection of cacti and succulents. Nothing that really tempted me. Some of their snake plants were really rough looking. I like those split rock plants and I also really like Haworthia. They had some of both of those. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of these other kinds of succulents though. I'm very selective when it comes to that. Pretty cute looking bear paws. I think those are Echeverias of some sort. And there's a Haworthia that I already have. Otherwise, I probably would have picked that one up. Huge leaves on this plant. And I regret not getting one of those Tenanthes, those large Tenanthes. One of the I already have and the other one I don't. So I'm a little regretty about that, but that's okay. They did have some really nice looking plants at this Home Depot, um, but a lot of them are just too big and not the sort of plant that I'm looking for. I'm not a big fan of alocasias because they just don't do so well in my house and ficus are a little too temperamental for me. But a lot of Dracaena, a lot of Diffenbachia, palms, a lot of croton, some ferns, and some nice hanging baskets of pothos and philodendron as well. You can see some more from here on this side on the back. The money trees look pretty nice, but I gave my money tree away because it got too big. And these are actually some really nice looking bromeliads. Next up is Walmart Superstore. I honestly do most of my shopping at Walmart. It's just pretty easy. I thought this Valentine's Day lobster was super cute. I don't know why. I did not take him home with me, but I actually really wanted to. Walmart had a small selection of plants. I know that these were actually brought in about two weeks ago, and some of them were starting to look a little rough. Some of those 
crocodile philodendrons were pretty cool, but I know they grow super huge and I just don't have the space for it. But generally speaking, kind of the normal big box store houseplants you see in general. The only thing that really stood out to me was this Hoya Curtisii. If I didn't already had one, I probably would have picked this up. It's a nice big basket and it looked relatively healthy. I really like this brand of hair products at Walmart. The leave-in conditioner is really nice and I wanted to try out this hair serum as well because I'm out of the one I was using before. Joey said these black and white Oreos are no good, but we tried the Space Dunk and I personally like them. They have popping rocks in the cream. I'm really craving pizza lately, so I got some fat-free mozzarella and some pepperoni, some turkey pepperoni, and also picking up some pizza sauce because I'm going to make some sad pita pizzas. Don't flame me for this, but pork rinds have a lot of protein for the calories, and I am craving salty snacks, so I picked up some pork rinds. Also some light string cheese. 50 calories, that's it, for one string cheese. Diet Mountain Dew, of course. And they had Baja Blast Zero, so I picked up a 12-pack of that, even though we're trying to drink a little bit less diet soda lately. Cart in the cart holder, of course. See you later, Walmart. Waiting for Costco to open. And this is the last grocery stop of the day. I don't do all of my grocery shopping at Costco because they don't have everything that I need, but the stuff that I do need, I always get from Costco. So here I am picking up more tomatoes. I love golden kiwi. I think they are way better than regular green kiwi. You tell me, what do you think? Cucumbers for salads. And I also pick up a big old bag of the pre-mixed salads. It's honestly just super easy to trap rather than picking all the ingredients from everywhere else. These skinny dip cups are really good actually. And these are the protein bars that Joey eats. That's all from Costco. See you later Costco. And the final stop of the day is a local plant nursery. This is just going to be a bunch of b-roll of some of the stuff they had and it's honestly not even everything that they have at this place. Uh, it's a really nice shop. I think their prices are fair and they have a really good selection. Some of their plants today were not the best that I've always seen but some of them were really nice and I didn't show it in any of these videos but they also have a section for uh, more rare plants more expensive plants and they had some really interesting stuff in there a lot of different string of type plants variegated and non-variegated a lot of different philodendron a lot of ivy they have both common and more rare things like i mentioned earlier I thought these peperomia were really cute, but the last time I had a peperomia like that kind of killed it instantly, so I'm giving it a little more time. These ficus shiverianas are pretty trendy right now, and I was kind of happy to see that their ficus triangularis looked way worse than mine, which honestly doesn't look good either. A lot of different varieties of ferns, uh, staghorn ferns, a few different kinds. Some of the more finicky ferns and some of the hardier ones. Lots and lots of philodendron, variegated peace lilies. I already had that tenanthi, but if I wish they did have more tenanthi here because I was looking for one. Peperomia, Divenbachia, Tratoscantia, more Tratoscantia, Syngoniums which I was looking for as well. I was really intrigued by the Godzilla Syngonium. They had a couple interesting varieties of Hoya, but 
I didn't think they looked the best, otherwise I might have picked one up. Some cute little snake plants. A couple different kinds of begonia. And they had some nice looking variegated marantas. Some bigger baskets of Hoya and some bigger ficus plants. Some bigger ferns and staghorn ferns as well. They have a small selection of succulents and cacti, but honestly it's not really anything to write home about. Their tropical section is much nicer than their cacti and succulent section. I did see this euphorbia, I think, that looked really cool. It's a really big guy. This is a philodendron that they have labeled as a dark lord, which is a plant that I've been looking for, but I think that it might be mislabeled. They have the plants kind of arranged roughly by size and by type of plant. So a lot of times at this particular nursery, they'll have all the small three inch plants together, the five inch plants, the seven inch plants, and that refers to the pot that they're in. But then within each size section, they kind of have them grouped by type of plant. So philodendron, pothos, Anthurium, etc. Here's another big philodendron. I think this is a pink princess, but it's no longer particularly variegated anymore. I think these were the Anthuriums. I have never tried to grow an Anthurium before, and I'm a little intimidated by them. The video is wrapping up pretty soon here, and I'm about to send you back over to real time Hime, but I just wanted to say that I super appreciate you sticking around and watching this video. If you want more vlog content, please let me know in the comments below and I would love to chat with you down there. Voice over Hime out. Okay, let's do like a little outro and I'm just gonna also do a quick little haul of what I got at the plant store. So I did see a lot of plants at like Home Depot and Lowe's and Walmart had some, but it was nothing uh, that really stood out to me. Most of the stuff that I was interested in were things that I already had. So at the nursery, I picked up two Syngonium, two small Syngonium. I don't know what varieties these are, but I've been wanting to try out this family of plants and I picked up one that was really cute and pink. I like the dark pink leaves and the shape. And then they also had this like really tiny little green one. Uh, so I figured I would just grab both of these small plants and give it a shot. They were pretty inexpensive, so I'm not really worried about um, not being the best plant parent to them. So I'll just take these home and I'll treat them and everything and get them situated in my home. Uh, they had a lot of good stuff. I was really drawn to a lot of the philodendron, but I just don't have room in my house or like the mental energy for another huge philodendron unless it is the dark lord which is the one i've been looking for for a long time they had one in there that was labeled dark lord but i actually don't think that it is a dark lord philodendron and it was also like really big and out of control so if i get um a dark lord i'd like to get a smaller one so that I can grow it the way that I want and not just grab a huge one that's all wild already. But anyways, if you watched the video all the way through, thank you so much. I super appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had fun. Don't forget to be responsible for your own gains. Don't be a dick and control your cock. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.